day, nagulat din po ako that uh, the Lord is so concerned not only for His love for us and our love for Him, pero ang concern pala niya is that how we love one another. Alright? Sabi mo sa katabi mo, I love you because the Lord loves you. Ayan. Sinabi po sa atin ng Panginoon sa isang command, sabi niya, a new commandment in John 13.34, sabi niya, a new commandment I give unto you that you love one another as I have loved you. Alright? So, hindi lang pala ka siya concerned sa pagmamahal niya sa atin at ang pagmamahal natin sa kanya, kundi kung paano tayo magmahalan. Ayan. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, mahal kita. Ayan. Totoo ba yan? Ayan. <laughs> Dapat po totoo sa atin. So, he is also concerned on how we are to love one another. And we will learn today that we are to love one another as Christ has loved us. Alright? So, bibigyan po ng emphasis. Iba lang po ang approach, but this is what we will see today. And this is especially pertaining to leaders and believers who have been in the ministry or going to church for some time. Alright? So, may correction. May correction with love and grace. So, maganda pong pakinggan po natin today. Alright? But I'm going to give you a review of what we have been taking up. Alright? And last week, ang subtitle po natin is that we are deeply loved. Alright? Nadaman niyo po ba yun, ang pagmamahal ng Panginoon? We are so deeply loved. Amen? And uh, we learned that although we sin, ayan na, minsan nakakamali tayo, nakakasala tayo. Although we sin, the Lord is always open with His arms, ready for you to come back. Alright? Balik lang anak. Sige na, nadapa ka na. Okay lang yan. Balik lang ulit. Alright? And He's ready to receive you. He's not going to demote you. Alright, diyan ka muna, mag-alipin ka muna, mag servant ka muna, linis-linis ka muna ng mga garahe, ng ating mga suluk-suluk dyan, at saka nalang kita ipopromote again. Wala pong ganon, as we have seen in the prodigal son's story, alright, he was put back in position, alright, and even greater, kasi nagkaroon pa ng grand celebration. So that's what we saw, that the Lord, our Father, He does not demote. Wow! Diba? Although tayo lagi na sabihin, sige na, mag-umpisa na lang ako, itong dinideserve ko, I'm guilty, parusahan niyo muna ako. But it's not like that at all. Ibahin natin siya, alright? Ibahin natin ang Panginoon. So that is what we learned, no? And then what else? We learned that we are as Christians to live with one another. We are not called to be lone ranger. So yung sakitabi mo, hindi ka si lone ranger. Ayan. Maski nga si Lone Ranger may tonto eh. Kilala niya si tonto? Di ba? May partner yan. So hindi po tayo Lone Ranger Christians. We're not supposed to live Christianity alone thinking we're gonna grow on our own and we're going to be on fire alone. No, you get on fire when you're with other believers. Amen? So dun po yun, nai-ignite tayo. So we need one another. So yung sakitabi mo, kailangan kita. Ayan. We need one another. We're, we're called to be a church. Right? You're not called to be a believer, just a believer. We're called to be a church. We're called to be the body of Christ. And the body of Christ needs each part. All right? Yung po natutunan natin. What else? We also learned that although we sin, but then again and again, sasabihin sa atin ng Panginoon, you are beautiful. You are spotless. Sabihin mo sa katabi mo, you are blameless. Sabihin mo, you are spotless. Ha? Walang spot, walang tuldok, walang dungis ang tingin sa atin ng Panginoon. Amazingly. Eh, alam mo kung saan ka galing, di ba? And yet, you are spotless in the eyes of God. So again and again, He would remind us. And it is so beautiful when we take the, part, uh, the communion, He always tells us, alam mo anak, forgiven ka na. This is what we celebrate today. You are forgiven. You are healed. That is what we celebrate each time we partake of the communion. And ganda-ganda po nang nire-remind sa atin ng, pang- ng Panginoon. Although you see yourself, you know, doing some things, pero sabihin sa'yo, anak, pinatawad na kita. Alright? Kaya nga sabi dun song kanina, Radical Love, lahat erased na. All sins erased. Praise God. And all we have to do now is to thank Him, give Him the praise, for all that He has done. Amen? Palakpakan natin ang Panginoon. Worthy to be praised, our God. Amen? Alright, so those are the things that we learned last week. Alright? And though we are down, He lifts us up. He will not allow one person to be lost. Ayan. Sigurado na na walang mawawala ni isa sa atin. Amen? 
Not one person will be lost. And that has been proven by the, the parable of the lost sheep. Remember, sandaan yun. Eh, ano ba naman yung mawalan ka ng isa, di ba? Pwede na yun. Iwanan mo ba yung 99 para sa isa? But that is exactly what he will do. Alright? Pag ikaw ay nawala, huwag ka mag-aalala, ibabalik ka rin ng Panginoon. Amen? So, ibig sa katabi mo, magbabalik ka rin. Magbabalik ka dahil ibabalik ka ng Panginoon. Amen? Praise be to God. Alright? So, dalagyan lang po natin ng balance, no? So, pastora, ako pala'y spotless na. Ako pala'y blameless na. Ha? At every time nagkakasala ako, ako'y forgiven na. Eh di, pwede na. Ano pwede na? Pwede na magkasala. Kasi lagi naman ako spotless. Alright? Sasabayan ko lang po si Paul. Ang sabi niya ay, Certainly not. Ibig sabihin, may biyaya, lalo tayo magkakasala. Mali yata yun, di ba? Ang sagot ni Paul ay, Laksan pa natin. Certainly not. Abay, aabusuhin ba natin? Alright? We're not like that. Kung nga may isang mabait na tao, ang bait-bait niya sa'yo, ay, ang bait, abusuhin natin. Ha? Lalo natin gawa ng mali. Of course not. The love of that person will will cause you to be drawn to him and to do him more good. Amen? Hindi yung gagawa mo ng mali dahil napakabait ng tao. Sino mo ang salbahe doon? Ikaw. <laughs> Di ba? So, it's, that is not what should come out from us. We have a different nature. The nature that we have today is love. And that's why when we, we see God forgiven, forgive, having forgiven us and making us clean just like Jesus, our response should be, thank you, Lord. I worship you. I give you my all. Yan po dapat ang response natin. Hindi yung, yeah, hey, magkakasala na naman ako. Hindi po ganon. Alright? That is not the attitude that we should have. Alright? And just to balance it out, kasi po may mga nagtanong sa akin during our um our uh, meeting all right eh pastora pa paano po at pinatawad nga siya ng Panginoon kaya lang paulit-ulit namang ginagawa yung kasalanan okay as far as god is concerned he is just he is faithful even though when we are unfaithful he remains faithful all right at hindi nagbabago yon masama ka magiging masama rin siya sa iyo hindi po nang ganoon ng Panginoon all right what he does is that even when you are unfaithful, he remains faithful. Okay? That is the truth. Pero tingnan natin ang story ng prodigal son. Sino ang nag-react ng kakaiba? Ang nag-react po ay yung kapatid. Kapatid na to ha, elder brother. So, the father's attitude is, I forgive you no matter what you have done. But, look at this. Sa mga taong nakapaligid sa inyo, iba po ang dating. Right? So, this is a lesson for us to learn that, you know, yes, God will always forgive you, all right? But there are people who will not be ready to receive you back. And so, maapektuhan po tayo sa buhay natin kung lagi tayo paulit-ulit sa kasalanan. Tama po ba? All right? Kung lagi tayo nagsisinungaling, eh sino naman niniwala sa'yo? Natandaan niyo po yung story nung the boy who cried wolf. Who knows the story? Taas ang kamay. The boy who cried wolf. Okay, sa ibang hindi nakakaalam, the boy who cried wolf, nag-aalaga po siya ng mga tupa. Okay? Napagtripan niya lang kasi nabobor siya eh. Wala siyang kasama doon. Mga tupa lang ang kasama niya. Sumigaw siya ng mga, ano ba yung wolf sa Tagalog? Lobo. Sabi niya, may lobo, may lobo. So yung mga tao, tumulong, tumakbo, iniwan yung kanilang mga labada, iniwan yung kanilang mga sampay, alright? iniwan yung mga gina ginagawa nila, tumakbo papuntang mountain, alright? dahil narinig yung bata na tumatawag ng may lobo daw at mamamatay yung mga tupa. Okay? Pagdating doon, wala pala. Okay? Sabi, ba't mo ginawa yan? Eh, natuwa lang yung bata kasi ayan, at least may tao na, may kasama na siya. Bumalik ulit yung mga tao, and then for the second time, he did that again. May lobo, may lobo. Sabi niya, wala namang lobo. So again, nag-akyatan yung mga tao. Alright? Pagdating doon, wala talagang lobo. And for the third time, alright? He did that again. Why? Because this time, totoo na. Talagang may mga lobo nang dumating. At isa-isa nang kinakatay ang kanyang mga tupa. Kaya lang when he shouted, may lobo, may lobo, wala nang umakyat na tao. Okay? Wala nang naniwala. So, this is what I'm trying to tell you. <coughs> In the eyes of God, He will always be faithful even when we are unfaithful. Why? Because He cannot deny Himself. Yan siya eh. Right? But the thing is, people around us will not be so, so as, as patient as God. Amen? Tao eh. I mean, 
brother na to ha, sa prodigal sana, hindi pa rin siya mapatawad ng ganong kadali. What more, people of the world? So what is, this, is, what is the message to us to balance this out? Yes, the Lord will always be faithful. But His faithfulness should bring us to the next level para magbago po tayo. Kung baga yung ma-empower tayo, yes, pinigyan na ulit ako ng pagkakataw ng Panginoon para magbago tayo. Hindi yung uulit-ulitin natin. Bakit? Ang apektado po dito, tayo na po. Sa trabaho natin, sa pamilya natin, kung paulit-ulit pong ginagawa ang kasalanan, wala nang maniniwala sa inyo. Amen? So ano pong gagawin natin as believers? We as believers, kung tayo po laging pinag- ginagawa ng masama ng tao, patatawarin pa rin natin. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, forgive. That is the thing that we have to do. Yes, we will forgive, but at the same time, we will have to protect ourselves. Ano mong sabihin, pastora? Okay? Kung paulit, ulit pong ginagawa sa atin, right? You forgive the person, pero kung kailangan na i-end yung relationship nyo, like for example, lagi kang pinagnanakawan, lagi kang, nag, lagi kang pinagsisinungalingan, lagi kang niloloko, abay, lagi kang sinasaktan, abay, syempre sabi mo, ops, lagi mo ako sinasaktan, hinahabol mo ako ng kutsilyo, ah, gusto ko pang mabuhay. Okay? Gusto ko pang mabuhay, kailangan na siguro tayo maghiwalay. Okay? Temporarily hanggang magbago ka, hindi ko sinasabing hindi ka na magbabago, pinapatawad kita, kaya lang kailangan muna tayo maghiwalay pansamantala until such time na, you know, magpabago ka sa Panginoon sa biyaya niya. Amen? So what I'm trying to tell you is, with God, right? There is no more problem. The sin, the sin issue has been dealt with. But as far as people are concerned, people are not ready to trust that way. Okay? And we do need to have to protect ourselves. So kung lagi ka niloko, taon na ang binilang, paulit, ulit, walang pagbabago. Alright? Then you have to put some limitations. Amen po ba? Alright? Kasi baka iniisip nyo, pastora, tagal-tagal na, wala na nga akong daliri, pinutul-putul na yung daliri ko, pinapatawad ko pa rin siya. Okay? Yung kaya sobrang bug-bug na kayo, pinapatawad ko pa rin siya, pastora. Okay? Uh, lagyan po natin ng wisdom. Okay? May forgiveness, but I'm sorry, I want to live. Ha? Gusto ko pang mabuhay, maghiwalay muna tayo sa andali lang. At baka naman hindi na ako, hindi na ako umabot sa panahon na ipagpanalangin ka pa. Alright? So you have to be wise as well. Alright? Of course, the Lord can deal with that person. Alright? The Lord is able to lift up that person. But I'm sorry, I cannot wait for that habang kasama kita. Baka naman wala nang matira sa akin. Intindihan mo ba natin? Baka naman bugbog sarado na ako sa hospital na hanapin yung tao. Alright? So, I'm just balancing this out because some people might um, you know, misinterpret or sabi nila hindi titiisin ko to. Titiisin ko tong ginagawa sa akin. Alright? We have to be wise. Even po ba? The Lord called us to peace. He did not call us in in torture or in uh uh, ano ba tawag dyan, kabiligtaran ng peace? Uh, commotion, alright? He called us to peace. Amen po ba? Ayan. So, pinapatawad kita, pero sige, uh, doon ka na tumira sa malayo-layo sa akin, okay? Doon ka lang muna at baka walang matira sa aking katawan. Alright? Ganun pong klase. Or, if there's an employee-employer um, relationship, Okay, pinapatawad kita, matagal mo na akong pinagnanakawan, pero uh, siguro hindi ka na magtatrabaho para sa akin. Okay, baka sa iba ka naman mag-improve, pero hindi na sa akin. Are you getting the point? Amen? So this is just to balance this out. Kasi if we see the Lord always forgiving, alright, uh, kailangan ba ako rin? At kailangan bang uh, i-embrace ko pa siya? Hindi ko siya papaalisin sa bahay? Well, if it's harming you, then you have to be wise as well. Amen? Maruno tayong magpatawad, pero we have to move on. Amen po ba? Praise God. Okay, so that is the reason also why the Lord does not want us to sin continually. As far as He is concerned, sin is no longer an issue. But the thing is, it will affect your life here on earth. Amen? Yung buhay natin dito, how people will look at you, how people will trust you, yung po ang maapektuhan. Kaya, gusto ng Panginoon, let's move to the next level. No? Stop sinning, all right? abhor evil, and do good. Okay? So, let's go to that verse in Romans 12.9. Romans 12.9. This is the way Paul has taught us. Sabi niya dito, let love 
be without hypocrisy. Abhor what is evil. So even though pinatawad ka ng Panginoon, ang kasalanan mo lahat, kasalanan mo lahat, ha? lahat, deleted na yan, erased na yan, but you are still to abhor what is evil. Alright? Cling to what is good. Be kindly affectionate toward one another with brotherly love in honor, giving preference to one another. Not lagging in diligence. Ibig sabihin, lagi tayo dapat diligent, masipag, fervent in spirit, serving the Lord. Alright? So this is to balance is this out. If people keep on hurting you, hindi na po pag-ibig yun. Alright? So you have the right to say, I forgive you, but please stay away. Okay? Stay away because uh, ako po ang nasasaktan. Amen? So you are disrespecting me, may kinukuha kang gamit na uh, pag-aari ko, hindi ka naman nagpapaalam. Alam niyo, pag hindi ko nagpapaalam ang tao, kinukuha ang gamit, hindi binabalik. Pag nanakaw na po yun. Alright? So if that is what the person is doing continually, yes, I forgive you, but we have you have to stay away. Amen po ba? Alright? So, I'm balancing this out kasi meron po ibang tao na gusto mag-sacrifice na mag-sacrifice, binubugbog na, sige lang, I love you, I love you. Okay? <laughs> Hindi po ganong klase ang ating pinag-uusapan dito. Alright? I forgive you, but please, stay away. Amen po ba? Nakuha po ba natin? Ay, parang hindi. Nakuha po ba natin? Amen. All right. So we continue to love the person, forgive the person, but we cannot sometimes live together in the same place. All right. I'm not saying na uh, lahat ng tao ay ganyan, but meron po mga tao that you just cannot live with them because hindi ho kayo mabubuhay na matagal. <laughs> yeah. You just have to, you know, give room for a while. Okay. Just some space. Okay, so now we're in chapter 5. Yung lang po ang pambalance out natin. Chapter 5 of the Song of Solomon. Okay. And dito po makita natin another adventure of the church. Makikita natin. Number one, we will learn what happens when a believer becomes lazy. Ayan. Paano pag tamad yung kristyano? Pastoran ako, grabe. Ilang beses ko na yan inimbita sa church, ha? Ilang beses ko na pinapupunta sa mga ministry, ano natin, hindi pa rin pumupunta. Okay? So what happens when a believer becomes lazy or lukewarm? Pag-uusapan natin to. And then we'll also talk about how leaders should should deal with those who become lazy. Tayo mga leaders, tayo mga nag encourage paano ba ang dealing natin sa kanila? We'll also see or have an insight or view of the internal turmoil. Ano ba nangyayari sa kalooban ng isang tao na medyo nilalamig kay Lord? Okay? Kasi hindi natin nakikita yan eh. Ang nakikita lang natin yung actions nila. But yung internal turmoil, ano ba nangyayari sa kalooban niya? Alright? We will see that. And talaga bang masama sila? Talaga bang they should be treated, uh, you know, and looked down upon? Uh, yun ba dapat nating uh, gawin sa kanila? And lastly, we will also know how they should be treated based on Jesus' treatment on them. Alright? Paano ba dapat natin silang i-treat when they are lazy and lukewarm? Okay? So, ready na po ba tayo? Yan po ang ating mensahe ngayon. Uh, and, but the bottom line is, love as Jesus Christ has loved us. Alright? Sabi mo sa mo, I love you. Okay? So, yung po ang ating magiging mensahe. Now, some people think that, you know, many times, lagi tayo ang nag-iintay kay Lord. Ang tagal naman ni Lord. Okay? Ang tagal naman niya pakinggan ang aking mga panalangin. But mali po tayo. Ang totoo po, si Lord ang nag-iintay sa atin. Because He has already done His part. And He's just waiting for us. And that is what we will see here in the Song of Solomon. In chapter 5, meron pong uh, rejoicing na nangyayari po. But um, we will see that um, itong babae, may request po siya. Again, the woman here represents the church as a whole or an individual in the church. Okay? May request po siya sa Song chapter 4 verse 16. Tingnan niyo po ito, Song 4 16. And uh, pag nakita niyo po yung word na wind, this represents the Holy Spirit. Alright, many times in our song, Holy Spirit, um, do as you will, di ba sinasabi natin? So this is the invitation of the church to do as He wills sa Holy Spirit. And at the same time, 
inviting the beloved Jesus Christ to see what has happened. Okay, so Song 416 says, Awake, O north wind, and come, O south. Blow upon my garden that its spices may flow out. Let my beloved come to his garden and eat its pleasant fruits. Okay, so ito po ay invitation to the Holy Spirit. Alam po natin yung kantang, Come Holy Spirit. Alright, this is just like an invitation. Come, Holy Spirit. Alright? And when the Holy Spirit moves, nagiging uh, productive po tayo. We bear much fruit. The fruit of the Holy Spirit is seen in our lives. Alright? Yung gifts of the Holy Spirit is flowing in our lives. So this is what is happening. Ito po ang nangyari sa kanila. They became fruitful. Then sabi niya, Let my beloved come to his garden. So yung garden po, yung, kumbaga yun yung mission field niya, kung saan sila gumagawa, kung saan yung event. And Sabi niya, and eat its pleasant fruits. Okay? So this is the statement of the woman. The woman which represents the church. Okay? So pagpalagay yun ng isang event to na nangyari sa church. And uh, people were blessed. Alright? And uh, by the invitation of the Holy Spirit at saka ni Jesus Christ, nangyari po ito. Okay? So it was a very successful event. Now, akala ng babae, iniintay niya, okay, ng matagal ang response Ni Jesus, alright? But actually, in truth, Jesus already responded. Many times, sa pag, maling pag-aakala natin, akala talaga natin, iniintay natin si Lord. Isang sagot, isang, isang uh, prayer pa lang natin, the Lord has actually responded to our prayer. It's many times, we are the ones who miss on the opportunity, lost opportunity. Pag tayo po'y tinatamad, Alright? Sino po dito nagkaroon ng uh, experience, sinabi sa'yo ni Lord, lika, usap tayo. Tapos sabi mo, ay, sandali lang, Lord, may check lang ako sa Facebook. Nangyari na yan? Nangyari na sa akin yun eh. Aminin. Okay, sabi sa akin ni Lord, usap tayo. Sabi ko, sandali, Lord, may titignan lang ako kasi may message ako eh. Nangyari na ba yun? Okay, Lord, sandali lang, tatapusin ko lang yung labada ko, babaho kasi. Okay, has it ever happened? Sinabi sa'yo ni Lord, usap muna tayo. And yet we say, sandali lang, Lord. You know, you know, most of the time we do that and it's a lost opportunity. In fact, nagpaalam ako kay Sister Ethel. Uh, Sister Ethel, sabi ko, can I borrow yung nasa wall mo sa Facebook? Because this is exactly what happened. So maybe you read this. Sabi ni Sister Ethel, woke up early than the usual and went down to watch TV when he said, referring to God, sabi niya, when he said, I want to talk to you. Okay? Nangungusap talaga si Lord eh. Sabi sa, daw sa kanya, I want to talk to you. Alam mo sabi niya? I pretended not to hear. Sounds familiar? Ha? Minsan, narinig mo na si Lord pero, ah, ah, ano, ah, 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 ah. Okay? Parang wala kang narinig pero alam mo! Sinabi sa ni Lord, usap tayo. Usap tayo. Kaya lang, uh, Lord, sandali lang ha? Sandali, okay? So, sabi niya, I pretended not to hear and decided to check Facebook. Right? Biglang nawala ang connection. No, oh, yan. <laughs> so I went up to my room and we did talk. Right? Buti na lang, di ba? Buti na lang. And then sabi niya dito, and then he spoke. Sabi daw ng Panginoon sa kanya, I will make your righteous reward shine like the dawn. Your vindication like the noonday sun. Right? And then right after sinabi daw ni Lord yon, sabi, the internet worked again. Okay? Hindi, sumingit lang si Lord. Mabuti na lang she responded to it. Okay? But many times, some people, some people miss on that. Alright? Maski hindi task kami nyo, alam ko minsan ginagawa nyo yan. Alright? Because sometimes, the Lord is calling on us and that is His perfect timing and yet we say, ay, sadali lang Lord. Alright? We miss out on that. It, this is exactly what happened to the woman. Okay? Let's go to chapter 5. And we do not lose the Lord, we just lose the opportunity. Okay? Dahil ito, I'm sure, this ministered to Ethel. Ayan, kung tatanungin natin si Ethel, this really ministered to her. Yung vindication niya, okay? It will be like the noonday sun, something like that. So, it really ministered to her. And I'm sure na it affected her, her outlook. So, many times, a word from the Lord can change your life. But we miss on it, okay? So, ito po exactly ang nangyari sa babae. Uh, in Song chapter 5, verse 1, sabi niya, I have come to my garden, and this is Jesus Christ speaking. 
So sa 4.16, sa chapter 4, in-invite niya si Jesus. And the next chapter says, I have come to my garden. Dumating siya kagad. Hindi siya nag, hindi nagpaintay ang Panginoon. I have come to my garden, my sister, my spouse. I have gathered my myrrh with, with my spice. I have eaten my honeycomb with my honey. I have drunk my wine with milk. And then to his friends, and this is referring to the world, actually, to the world. Sabi niya, eat, O friends. Drink, yes, drink deeply, O beloved ones. Tandaan po natin, God loves the world, not just us. Okay? So si Jesus, because the church was bearing much fruit, sabi niya, come, eat, lahat. Alright? Do you remember the story and the parable kung saan yung king nag-invite siya ng mga tao? Right? Sabi, halika, pumasok kayo. Lahat iniimbita niya. Okay? So, the invitation here of the Son was actually for everyone to partake of the fruit, the ministry fruits of the, of the church. Okay? So, iniimbitahan niya lahat. So, dumating ba siya sa imbitasyon ng babae? Yes, definitely, the Lord came. Okay? But then, alright, but then, uh, yung babae, tingin niya walang nangyari. Okay? And look at Song chapter 5, verse 2. Okay? After the very successful event, after bearing much fruit, sabi doon sa Song chapter 5, verse 2, and this is the woman speaking, representing us Christians, sabi niya, I sleep. Okay? Natutulog siya, but my heart is awake. It is the voice of my beloved. Tingnan niyo nangyari, ha? pagod na ang katawan, Pero ang puso naman niya buhay pa. Okay? Buhay pa sa pandinig sa, sa Panginoon. He knocks saying, Open for me, my sister, my love, my dove, my perfect one, for my head is covered with dew. Okay? Dew or the rain uh, speaks about the anointing, the blessing. My locks with the drops of the night. So katulad ng kanta natin kanina, ano ba yung kanta nyo? Let the rain pour as we praise the Lord. Okay? So, uh, it speaks about the blessing. So the Lord wants to fellowship with us more. Okay? Kaya lang, pagod na. Pagkatapos ng very successful ministry, abay pagod na ako, Lord eh. Alright? So this woman decided to sleep. Alright? But take note, ang puso niya nasa Panginoon naman. So this is one thing that the leader should know. Okay? Though merong mga tinatamad na Christian, huwag naman tayo pabasta-basta mag-judge na siguro malayo na ang puso niyan kay Lord. Siguro wala na yan. Malayo na ang puso niyan. O, ano na yan? Dried up na yan. Okay? So sabi dito, I sleep but my heart is awake. Pag naririnig pa rin niya ang boses ng Panginoon, tumatalon pa rin ang puso niya. Okay? So let's not be judgmental. This is a message to the leaders. Okay? Song 5.3, sabi ng babae, again, I have taken off my robe. Tinanggal ko na yung bata ko eh. Sabi niya ganyan, how can I put it on again? I have washed my feet. How can I defile them? Alright? So, after being so busy with ministry, alright, ang, ang, ang fruitful na nangyari, okay, right now, she's so tired, at nung kumakatok na si Lord sa kanya, sabi niya, ipagod na ako eh. So, suotin ko pa ba yung bata ko? Bata yun, na Yung robe. So, suotin ko pa ba yun? Uh, eh, tatayo pa ba ako? Madudumihan pa yung pa ako? Uh, actually, it's a, it's a lazy excuse. Alright? Totoo. Aminado naman po. Lazy excuse. Alright? And if you will read this, ano ba namang klaseng excuse yan? ba? So, um, if you will continue, you will find out meron pong lesson dito. Because after she did this, alright, she decided to stand up again. In Song chapter 5, verse 5, makita po natin, I arose to open for my beloved. Yes, tinamad po siya. Okay? Kaya lang, bumangon din naman. And, and who makes her stand up? It is God who lifts us up all the time. Sabi niya, I arose to open for my beloved. And my hands dripped with myrrh. Now, myrrh is a symbolism for worship. Tandaan niyo yung... Uh, the, 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 wise, the wise men, when they uh, went to Jesus as a young child, and daladalala, one of them is myrrh. Okay? It's, uh, it's a sign of worship. Okay? So, sabi niya, my hands are dripping, or my hands drip with myrrh, my fingers with liquid myrrh. 
on the handles of the lock. I opened for my beloved, but my beloved had turned away and was gone. Ano tawag dito? Missed opportunity. Okay? Kung hindi po umakyat si Sister Ethel doon sa kanyang kwarto, pagdating niya doon, ay, but parang wala na si Lord? Okay? Kasi tinapos niyo muna yung telenovela sa TV. <laughs> tinapos mo muna lahat ng messages mo sa Facebook. Alright? Sometimes, missed opportunity. There's always a perfect timing when the Lord calls you. Kaya lang, missed opportunity. Okay? You just lost the opportunity, but listen, you did not lose the Lord. Okay? So, there's a balance here. Okay? Yung puso po ng baba is there to worship. We are still there when we get up. We still want to worship the Lord. Alright? But sabi dito, but my beloved had turned away and was gone. Yung perfect timing lang pong nawala. Okay? My heart leaped up when he spoke. So you see, nandun pa rin po yung kanyang, yung kanyang uh, desire for the Lord. Sabi niya, I sought him, hinanap niya, but I could not find him. I called him, but he gave me no answer. Okay? Again, there's a perfect timing for everything. Ang challenge ko lang po sa atin is, let's not miss up on that perfect timing. Because when you do come up and worship the Lord when He calls you, meron talaga siyang word for you for that time and you needed that word very much and it can change your life. Okay? Let's not miss up on that opportunity. Okay? But if you do, ang nangyari lang po, missed opportunity, Lost opportunity, but you did not lose the Lord. True love never goes away. Tunay pa rin ang pag-ibig na nasa atin. Amen? So yung po magandang balita, no? Now, let's continue. Ang insight po natin dito is that naging lazy, pero we still see hindi naman nawala ang tunay na pag-ibig. Alright? This is giving us an insight of what is happening in a believer. Sabi mo, sabi mo sa tabi mo, I'm a believer. Ang believer, hindi ho nawawala ang tunay na pag-ibig sa kanya. Tinatamad minsan, amen. Sino dito hindi pa tinatamad, di ba? Lahat tayo yata dumaan na sa katamaran. Ayan. So, yan po eh, nangyayari. And this is just giving us a very realistic picture of a life of a Christian. But how, how do we deal with these kinds of Christian? Okay? So, look at this. In Solomon, or in Song of Solomon, chapter 5, verse 7. Okay? Ito po ang maling kapamaraan, uh, pamaraanan, or maling way to deal with this. Look at what the watchmen did. Natandaan po natin, the previous chapter, mabuti po yung mga watchmen. So, ibig sabihin, may dalawang klasing leader. Isang leader na nakakatulong at isang leader na nakakapanakit. Huwag tayo maging katulad ng pangalawa. Amen? Sabi po dito, The watchmen who went about the city found me, they struck me, they wounded me, the keepers of the walls took my veil away from me. So again, these are leaders of the church. These are believers, ministers, alright? Kaya lang, imbis na mag-minister, minister means to serve, alright? They wounded the person. Mean to say, ang sinabi po sa kanya is something like this. Ano ka ba naman? Napakatamad mo naman? Nang lalamig ka na ba kay Lord? Ha? Ano mang klaseng kristyano ka? Okay? So, minsan when we see people who are not so active, into the ministry, we have this judgmental thinking about them na, ano, wala yan, malamig yang kay Lord, lukewarm yang kay Lord, alright? And we, they start, you know, speaking against them, maybe in front of them or behind them. Both ways, we still wound them. Amen po ba? Maski sa harap o sa likod yung sabihin yan, we still wound them. Amen? And that should not be our attitude. Alam nyo ang lesson po dito, pinapakita sa atin ng Panginoon, that He is concerned in how we are to love one another. We are believers, alright? So we are to love one another. And we should not wound the beloved whom the Lord loves. Amen? Sabi mo sa katabi mo, you're the beloved. So ibig sabihin, love yan ni Lord. Ba't mo sasaktan ang love ni Lord? Amen? So hindi rin gusto ng Panginoon na tayo po'y nakakapanakit. Yes! They may be lazy, but that does not give us the right to hurt them. Amen? Praise God. 
Alright? So, yun po nangyari, itong mga watchmen na to, ito yung isang uri ng watchmen. One watchman could be helpful, the other can be hurtful. Maging helpful po tayo, huwag po tayo maging hurtful. Amen po ba? Alright? And then look at verse 8, and this is an insight of what is happening in the inside of the believer. Sabi niya dito, I charge you, O daughters of Jerusalem, if you find my beloved, that you tell him, I am lovesick. Oo nga, naging tamad nga ako, pero in my heart, miss na miss ko na si Lord. Amen. Are you getting this? So this is giving us a picture of what is happening in the inside of a person. Dahil hindi naman na natin nakikita yan sa mata natin eh. Alright, look at, look at uh, what she said here in verse... 10 to 16. Oh, let's go to verse 9 first. So, nagtaka na to mga women of Jerusalem. Sabi niya, What is your beloved more than, more than another beloved, O fairest among women? What is your beloved more than another beloved that you so charge us? But mukhang may kinokomand. Ano ba tong beloved mo? So, sumagot ulit yung babae and look at her internal love for the Lord. Sige nga, medyo konti siyang tinamad, pero tingnan nyo naman ang puso niya. Ito talaga ang puso ng tao. My beloved is white and ruddy, chief among 10,000. His head is like the finest gold. His locks are wavy and black as a raven. His eyes are like doves by the river of, rivers of waters, washed with milk and fitly set. His cheeks are like a bed of spices, banks of scented herbs. His lips are lilies, dripping liquid myrrh. His hands are rods of gold set with beryl. His body is carved ivory inlaid with sapphires. His legs are pillars of marble set on bases of fine gold. His countenance is like Lebanon, excellent as the cedars. His mouth is most sweet. Yes, he is altogether lovely. This is my beloved and this is my friend. O daughters of Jerusalem. Okay? So dito po nakikita natin, though she has been lazy, alright? Though she missed up on the Lord, alright? But it reveals her heart. Hindi natin nakikita ang puso ng bawat isa. Maybe yes, she has been quite lukewarm, but that does not give us the right to judge that person. Amen? Kuha po ba natin? So again, we see, ang concern ng Panginoon, hindi lang yung pag-ibig niya sa atin at pag-ibig natin sa Kanya, kundi yung pag-ibig natin sa bawat isa. Amen? Alright. Praise God. How detailed, oh. So ito po ang grace lesson for leaders. Grace lesson. Okay? Sometimes, leaders and other believers will be hard on a person who is lukewarm and who becomes lazy. Now, hindi ko po sinasabi, ang laziness ay mabuti. Even Paul said, wag pakainin ang tamad. So may balance po dito. But it is not our role to judge anyone. Judging is still out of the picture. Okay? So, you know, some of us have fallen to that mistake. Naku, wala yan. Ano yan eh? Matamad yan eh. Okay? But let's not be like that anymore. Okay? So dito po, makita natin, she yearns for the Lord and her love and intimacy is uh, revealed by her words. So, ano pong dapat natin gawin? Pastor, anong gagawin natin? Eh, talaga namang tamad yung tao na yun. Ala, ilang beses ko na ini-invite? Ayaw pa rin. Okay, ito lang pong gagawin natin. Continue to encourage. Yun lang. At pag ayaw, pabayaan natin. Give it some time and then continue to encourage again. That's our role. But we are not to condemn them. We are not to judge them. Alright? Because that is not our role. Let God be the judge. Let us continue to exhort them. Okay? Look at Romans chapter 14, verse 4. Okay? Sabi dito, Who are you to judge another servant? Servant mo ba siya? Okay, hindi, di ba? Hindi mo naman siya servant. Binabayaran mo? Hindi rin, di ba? Okay. Who are you to judge another servant? To his own master, and who is the master? God. To his own master, he stands or falls. Indeed, he will be made to stand, for God is able to make him stand. Amen? 
So hindi natin pwede sabihin, naku, wala yan. Yung kristyano na yan, tamad yan, tamad. Walang silbi yan sa ministry. Ah, hindi mo pwede ganun yan. Because it is, hindi naman ikaw master yan eh. Amen? And he, God will make him stand. It is not you who will make him stand. Alright? Alam nyo, sa ministry, I've realized, you know, hindi mo pwede pilitin ng tao. May own timing yan. Alright? Sa ministry, meron pong mga taong late bloomers. Okay? Pag pinilit mo ang late bloomer, hindi ho siya nag-grow. Parang napipilitan lang siya, nahihirapan siya. Pero at their own time, and it is the Lord's timing, okay, when they go and move. Right? At pag nag-bloom naman, bloom na bloom. Nakita ko na po yan sa mga F12 ko. Meron po mga late bloomers and yet when it's their time, okay, they bloom and they make uh, a, a big mark in ministry. Okay? Pero hindi po natin role ang mamilit. Ang role natin, mag-encourage. That's all we have to do. Pastora, ayaw talaga eh. Encourage mo lang. Okay? Palipasin mo panahon, tapos encourage mo ulit. Alright? So that's, that's our role. Alright? And then in Romans 14.10, look at this. Romans 14.10 says, But why do you judge your brother? Or why do you show contempt for your brother? Brother to ah, ibig sabihin kapatiran. Okay? For we shall all stand before the judgment seat of Christ. Alright? Romans 14.12, look at this. So ito na lang dapat natin gawin. So then, each one of us, or each of us, shall give account of himself to God. Right? Therefore, let us not judge one another anymore. Dati ba natin ginagawa? Okay, let's not judge anyone anymore. Okay? Tigilan na natin yan. But rather, resolve this. Ito po ang solusyon. Not to put a stumbling block or a cause to fall in our brother's way. Huwag mo nalang lagyan ng mga harang. Ha? Kaya ikaw, hindi, ikaw tatamad-tamad ka. O sige, huwag ka muna sumali dito. Yung mga ganong klase. Okay? So, alam niyo po, sa, sa, sa buhay natin, when we make mistakes, okay, when we make mistakes, pag nag-explain tayo, may excuse tayo, alright? And we want to be dealt with with understanding at saka grace. Kunwari ganito, nagkamali ako. Sabihin ko, eh kaya ako lang naman nagawa yun. Eh kasi naman, na-pressure na lang ako. So anong ginagawa ko? I'm trying to make you understand me. Intindi mo naman ako. Kaya, kaya lang, pag iba naman na nagkamali, sabihin mo, ah hindi, nag excuse siya. Hindi kaya ako lang naman nagawa yun. Ah hindi, basta nagkamali ka. Alright? To other people, we become so direct. Alright? Kailangan direct. Ah hindi, nagkamali ka. Unscriptural yung ginawa mo. Okay? Pero sa sarili natin, gusto natin biyaya ibigay sa atin. Balik na rin kaya natin ang tables. Kung alam mo na biyaya ang nais mo, why don't you do that to others? Biyaya rin na ibigay mo. Pag nagsasabi siya, kaya ko lang naman nagawa yan kasi ganito, ah, ganun ba? O sige, pinapatawad na kita. I give you the grace of God. Kasi gusto natin pag tayo, biyaya, pero pag sa kanila, hindi. Ganto ang dapat mo ginawa. We become strict. We don't try to understand them. But the thing is, it's always supposed to be seasoned with grace. Let your speech be seasoned with grace. Palagi. Pastora, lusot ng lusot eh. Hiyaan mo na siya. Hindi na natin sagutin yon. Amen? But our role is to season our words with grace. Look at Colossians chapter 4, verse 6. Let's not be direct and demanding pagdating po sa ibang tao. Okay? Sabi po sa Colossians 4, 6, Let your speech always, sabi natin lahat, always. Hindi ba minsan-minsan, always. Alright? Always be with grace. Seasoned with salt that you may know how you ought to answer each one. Kunwari sabihin nyo, eh pastora nagpapalusot lang, hayaan mo na siya, sagutin niya yan, hindi mo sagutin yan. Tama po ba? Ang sagutin natin is let your speech be seasoned with grace always. Amen. Pastora, niloloko na ako. Always. Ibig sabihin ng grace, undeserved yan. Niloloko na ako, pastora, undeserved. You give them something they do not deserve. Okay, of course, I'm telling you, again, protect yourself. Eh di, pastora, sasaksakin na ako, pinasaksak ko na. Okay, hindi yung ganon. 
Ha? Protect yourself. Meron po kasi mga tao na you know, hinahayaan na nalang lang gawin nyo. Ang sinasabi ko lang po, it, it, try to understand people as you want to be understood. Amen? Pag nagkamali tayo, may dahilan tayo, di ba? Kaya ako kasi nagawa yun, kasi ano eh, ganito eh. Kaya ako na late kasi uh, marami pang gawain sa bahay. Ah, hindi, late ka na. Okay, gusto natin ganun ng diretso tayo, eh, di ba? Kaya lang, gusto naman natin tayo intindihin. Balik na rin naman natin. Tayo naman kaya umintindi. Alright? Let us deal with people with grace. Always. Sabi natin lahat, always. Okay? And you know what? For me, this is a very hard message to receive. Kasi po masyado akong strict ako. May pagka-strict ako. Dapat ganito. Kaya, kaya lang, uh, you know, even I am being corrected right now. Sa akin, uh, pag mali ka, mali eh. Ganun lang sa akin eh. Kaya lang, hindi eh. Hindi yun ang gusto ng Panginoon. Always season with grace. Alright? So this is uh, a, a, a difficult um, message for me. But you know what the Word says? If the Word says it, that settles it. Alright? We have to... Uh, Kung baga tayo mag-a-align, hindi po yung word ang mag-a-align sa atin. Alright? Okay. So, let's continue. Sabi pa nga niya, sa, sa Songs 5.8, sabi niya, pag nakita niya yung beloved ko, sabi mo, lovesick ako para sa kanya. Alright? So, though this person may be, you know, may be tinatamad-tamad, pero ang totoo niya, ang puso niya, nasa Panginoon din, and you cannot... You cannot, uh, kumbaga, hindi mo pwede kontrahin yun. Malay mo naman kung ano nangyayari sa puso ng tao na yun. Do you really know? But this gives us a revelation of the internal turmoil that is happening in a believer's heart. Ang pusong inibig ng Panginoon, umiibig din yan. Buhay yan, hindi yung pusong bato. Yan ay pusong uh, laman na at umiibig din yan sa Panginoon. And we have no right to judge them. Amen? Alright, sa akin, mahirap to eh, kasi sa akin, dur! <laughs> Alright, kailangan makita ang resulta. But you know, the Lord tells us, you know, you, do, you are not to judge anyone. Alright? So, Jesus Christ took all the judgment so that there will be no judgment for anyone. Amen? Praise be to God. So, hindi po natin trabaho yon. Alam nyo po, hindi nga po tayo mga anti-Christ, pero wag nyo na pong aminin, Iba sa atin, anti-Christian naman. <laughs> okay, anti-kapwa. Di ba? Anti-Christian. Let's not be like that. We are not called to judge anyone, but to love everyone. Amen? Praise God. Come on, let's bless the Lord. Alright. So, we owe no man anything but to love them. So, imulit sa katabi mo, I love you. Okay. Alin po sa kingdom of God, and this is a very short message that I have for you. In the kingdom of God, walang pilitan. All right. This is all by the grace of God. And if a person realizes I have the grace of God in my life, the grace of God will empower them. Sila po mismo magdadala sa sarili nila. I'm ready to be used by God. Take all of me, Lord. Alin po yon? Pag nakakatanggap tayo ng pag-ibig ng Dios. Okay. Just like the song we sang a while ago, if you know that the Lord has done all this for me, He has erased all my sin, sila mismo ang lalapit, hindi mo kailangang pilitin. Alright? And we all know that their, their, their talents, their giftings, they will use for God because they have realized how much God loves them. Kaya lahat ng umakit dito, lahat ng gumagawa, they have a revelation of, of the love of God. At sabi mo naman, e, paano yung mga hindi? Okay. In their perfect timing. Amen? Maybe hindi pa hinog eh. Hindi pa nila perfect. Alam niyo kung sabay-sabay tayong gumagawa ngayon, wala nang uupo. Di ba? Lahat tayo nakatayo na lahat may ginagawa. There's this perfect timing. In your perfect timing, I believe the Lord will raise you up and you will be effective in the ministry. Amen? Come on, bless the Lord. Perfect timing lang po yan. Alright? So we just allow the Lord to motivate us at the proper time, alright? And just continue to love one another, alright? Sabi mo sa tabi mo, I love you because the beloved loves you. I love you. Let's love one another. Amen? Palakpakan po natin ang Panginoon. Alright? So just allow the Holy Spirit to move you as always. Allow the Spirit of God to move you. As you have realized how much God loves you, that you are deeply loved, amen, that you are deeply loved, all right, allow yourselves to love one another at the same time. 
Huwag po tayo maging judgmental. That is not our role at all. Okay? Paulit-ulit po yan mensahe ni Lord sa akin. I'm so amazed that He would be concerned how we how we deal with one another. Diba? Para sa kanya, hindi. Ako, yung love mo sa akin, love ko sa iyo, tama na yun. Pero hindi. Yung dealing natin with one another is also important to the Lord. Alright? Again, once a person realizes how much God loves them, they would want God to take everything about them. Take all of me, Lord. My life, my heart, take all of me. Amen? Come on, bless the Lord. Thank you for watching the video. We hope you have learned principles from the Word of God that will change your life forever. Our messages are available in DVD and audio formats. You may contact us at the following phone numbers. 046-471-3516 and 046-515-7459 If you want to sow to assist us in proclaiming the gospel, you may deposit to Jesus Faith Christian Fellowship BPI Savings Account Number 1283-139235 Dueno Branch, Imus, Cavite or you may visit us at our church, 